So my name is Lisa Montecha, and I am the director of the Vanderbilt Brain Institute. I'm also a professor in the departments of pharmacology, psychiatry, and psychology. So our research focus is really in the area of molecular psychiatry. We're interested in really understanding the pathophysiology or what causes particular diseases and potential treatments. So the lab focuses in two areas. One is on how antidepressants work for the treatment of depression with implications towards suicide and bipolar disease. And the other is on a condition called Rett syndrome, which is a neurodevelopmental disorder and autism spectrum disorder. So they're two different aspects, but they really highlight the importance of neuroscience really from the earliest stages of development throughout life. Basic research is fundamentally important because it really allows us to move forward in terms of understanding of disease and possible treatment. So one analogy I often use really comes with AIDS. Uh, when AIDS first became prevalent in the 1980s, people heard about it. We didn't know what it was. People were scared. There was a lot of misconception about it. But very, very quickly, through very focused basic research, we were able to identify what the cause of AIDS was. And by working on that, therapeutic treatments pretty quickly. And if you look at individuals today, you know, they can tell you they're HIV positive, but they have a good quality of life. It is no longer a death sentence. Hopefully, with the same applied basic research approaches towards understanding these complex neuroscience diseases and with re recent technological discoveries, we really can, again, make these types of advances. If you want to really make a real push towards better treatment for a disease, it's through basic research. So I think the advice to an entering graduate student is a couple different types of advice. I think the most important advice is in choosing your mentor. People often look at uh, who is the nicest individual or you know, the lab culture at that time. But all those things can change depending on the dynamics in the lab. Yes, you have to like your mentor. Yes, you have to feel like you can work with your mentor and you like the lab environment. But I think the most important criteria is really, is this somebody that 10 years down the road, when you need a letter of recommendation, will drop everything and get sent in an hour if you need it? It's somebody that's committed in you and in your research that you feel comfortable with past just they're nice. And one of the best indications of that is where do people in the lab go to after they finish? Do they seem happy? So talk to individuals in the lab, really look at the mentor and see if this is someone long-term you can still see in your life. 